Distinguished guests, family members, and those watching online, welcome to the Non-Commissioned Officer Academy and the graduation of the 79 Tango Senior Leader Course, Class 23005. I am Mass Sergeant Christopher Larson, Chief of Training Development for the Strength Maintenance Training Battalion, and it is my honor to serve as your Master of Ceremony. Our special guests today for the ceremony are Colonel Kathy Cherry, Professional Education Center Brigade Commander, and Mr. Mann, Professional Education Center Chief of Staff. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the entrance of the official party and remain standing for the national anthem and invocation. The official party consists of Sergeant Major Matthew Roberts, HRR Division Sergeant Major, First Sergeant Justin Miller, Deputy Commandant of the 79 Tango NCO Academy, Sergeant First Class Joshua Hall, Small Group Leader, First Platoon, and Sergeant First Class James Lansone, Small Group Leader, Second Platoon. Staff Sergeant Jimmy Elliott from South Carolina. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we'd like to thank you for bringing us all here today to celebrate our accomplishments. Thank you for blessing us with good health, strength, and safety throughout this entire course. And thank you to all hands that were involved. We ask that you watch over us and be a fence around us all. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Please be seated. Today we are gathered to celebrate the graduation of Senior Leader Course, Class 23005. For the past three weeks, these NCOs have studied and applied leadership skills such as counseling, mentoring, army writing, critical thinking, and problem solving to give them a foundational knowledge of effective leadership as a senior leader in the respective Army National Guard Recruiting and Retention Battalions. The guest speaker for today's ceremony is Sergeant Major Matthew Roberts, HR Division Sergeant Major. Sergeant Major Roberts entered the United States Army National Guard on October 9, 1998 in Eugene, Oregon. He attended basic combat training and advanced individual training at Fort Benning, Georgia as a United States Army infantryman. His assignments include Headquarters and Headquarters Company, 2nd Battalion, 162nd Infantry, Oregon Army National Guard, Charlie Company, 2nd Battalion, 162nd Infantry, which he deployed to uh, Kuwait with in 2000, Alpha Company, 2nd Battalion, 162nd Infantry, with which he deployed to the Sinai in Egypt to support the Multinational Force and Observers Mission in 2002, and Charlie Company, 1st Battalion, 186th Infantry, which he deployed to Iraq with in 2004 in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom II. After returning from Iraq, Sergeant Major Roberts began his assignment as an r, &R NCO in the Oregon Army National Guard Recruiting Retention Battalion. Sergeant Major Roberts has served in several duty positions to include rifleman, team leader, squad leader, instructor writer, training development liaison, reserve component liaison NCO, senior reserve component liaison NCO, senior reserve component career counselor, and reserve component command career counselor. He currently serves as the Army National Guard Recruiting and Retention Division Sergeant Major, National Guard Bureau in Arlington, Virginia. Sergeant Major Roberts is a graduate of all non-commissioned officer professional development courses and all available courses pertaining to the 79 Tango MOS. He earned his bachelor and master's degree of business administration at Post University and is currently pursuing a doctor of strategic 
leadership degree at Liberty University. Sergeant Major Roberts is married to Catherine E. Roberts and has two children, Tyler and Elisa. Ladies and gentlemen, Sergeant Major Matthew Roberts. Good morning, Senior Leader Kors. Bet you guys are going to leave me hanging on that one. I want to start out by thanking the, the PEC command team, Colonel Cherry, Command Sergeant Major Snow. He's not here today. He's in another change of command, I believe, uh, on the eastern side, west, uh, WTC, I believe. As well as Colonel Ferguson, the SMTB commander, and Sergeant Major Ferrara. Appreciate you guys inviting me to come out here. It's an honor. This will be my last uh, graduation speech prior to my retirement, so I'm super excited on two different fronts. I get to be here for you to wish you welcome uh, a great graduation, but uh, knowing that this is my last opportunity to do this is also pretty exciting and, and humbling in, in, in itself. It, uh, it, it's a pretty great experience as you guys traverse through and have the greatest job in the Army. I'll say that again. You have the greatest job in the entire Army to be a recruiting and retention NCO for the Army National Guard. Think about that. Some of you have been doing this for a few years. Some of you would do this for a few more years. Now, my goal today is to keep this shorter than my bio. Appreciate you reading that entire thing, Sergeant Larson. And, uh, we got an opportunity yesterday to speak to the 1st and 2nd platoon for approximately 75 minutes, all in encompassing. So I'm not here to impart a bunch of wisdom on everybody. You've had great SGLs to do that, and this isn't your first rodeo at the Professional Education Center, which is the best and most professional education center around. I've been to all of them for all of the components. Excuse me. And uh, this, this one's pretty awesome. You've got some great leadership here, great instructors, and everything we talked about yesterday, all I ask is that you... You take an opportunity as you go home and just reflect on what we talked about yesterday. Give it an opportunity. Think about what your future is going to be. Don't just live in the today. This FY is almost over. Most of you should have made mission. I assume that's why you're here. Do great things. I look forward to seeing what you guys do in the future. But again, I'm not here to, to, to speak any longer than my bio, so I want to shut this down. I'm here as the Strike Major Division Sergeant Major to thank you for what you've done this FY, previous FYs, and in the future FYs. As you grow up and go through your journey of the enlisted uh, rank totem pole, you're going to have more subordinates looking up to you for mentorship, being a role model, being that leader. Sergeants, today is that day. You are graduates of the Senior Leader Course, and we look forward to the great things, and you wearing Sergeant First Class, Master Sergeant, First Sergeant, Sergeant Major and Command Sergeant Major in the future. So again, I thank you and I want to thank your families and all of your support staff and, and support channel that you've had through your entire careers as recruiting and retention NCOs. Continue to do great things, challenge your teammates, your peers, and your leaders when you get home with what they've either taught you or what they've stirred back within you that you already knew prior to being here at Senior Leader Course. Go home and do amazing things. Congratulations. God bless you, and good luck. Thank you. Sergeant Major Roberts, thank you for taking the time to speak to today's graduates. Sergeant First Class Hall will now address First Platoon for the last time. Please hold all your applause until all students have received their diplomas. Morning, First. First off, I want to thank uh, my counterpart, Mass Sergeant Harriger. He's not here, but uh, without him, First Platoon, you would not have had the opportunity to have the first and second strongest and biz biggest instructors of SMTV giving you instruction. So I want to thank him. <laughs> All right, now, Sergeants, yesterday you had the privilege to witness a change of responsibility uh, ceremony. What you didn't realize is these past three weeks, you guys have gone through your own change of responsibility ceremony. Three weeks ago, you guys showed up as staff sergeants, sergeants first class, operating from your little 79 Tango foxhole that we've talked about a lot. And now today, you're graduating, you're exiting these doors with the knowledge and wisdom to operate as a platoon sergeant and at a higher organization level. You can do it. But you guys know me, here's a reality check. You're going to fail. But my question to you is, who has the guts to fail? 
I'll ask you again, who has the guts to fail? Because you have to fail to succeed, Sarns. Great leaders will always fail to make themselves better. I told you, it's not the mistake that defines you, it's what you do afterwards, okay? Yeah, that's where we're at. And part of that failure, Sarns, and we talked about this as well too, right? Inaction and neglect of opportunity is way worse than a mistake of judgment while doing action. So when you guys graduate out of here, go do those things that we talked about. And as cliche as it is, but one last time, be, know, and do. <laughs> Prepare to graduate. Staff Sergeant Adorno. Staff Sergeant Bergen. Sergeant First Class Brayboy. Sergeant First Class Brooks. Staff Sergeant Bullock. Sergeant First Class Collier. Sergeant First Class Dills. Sergeant First Class Edmund. Staff Sergeant Elliot. Sergeant First Class Espinoza. Staff Sergeant Ferguson. Sergeant First Class Franklin. Staff Sergeant Ganey. Sergeant First Class Gango. Staff Sergeant Garcia. Congratulations, first platoon. Small group leader, Sergeant First Class James Lanson will address second platoon for the last time. Once again, please hold all applause until all students have received their diplomas. All right, good morning, second. Good morning. Good morning. So, let's get a little deep, but not as, not, not as deep as we've gotten over the last three weeks, right? So, the exams have been taken, the evaluations have been completed, the papers have been written, and the 1059s are just waiting to go and be submitted to HQDA, right? Don't mistake that for mastery. To this point, and to Sergeant Hall's point, we've only proven that we understand the concepts, but leadership is a practice. And what stands between our ability to become effective in that practice or to fail? It is simply our will. Go out there every day and find the desire within you to perform better, to be that better leader, to practice. Your studies have only just begun. Now you'll bounce between studying, going back to the regulation, going back to your formative knowledge that was gained here, and your application in the field. A friend of mine, Mr. Sean and Sims at SQI4 would call that going from the science to the art. And there's a learning gap in between those things. So as per my tradition, I'll leave you with a question to ponder every day. In what ways am I being 1% better as a leader today than I was yesterday. Prepare to graduate. Staff Sergeant Hyatt. 
Staff Sergeant Ingram. Staff Sergeant Jones. Staff Sergeant Keller. Staff Sergeant King. Staff Sergeant Ledford. Staff Sergeant Marcinek. Staff Sergeant Mumby. Staff Sergeant Perry. Staff Sergeant Price. Staff Sergeant Rumbowski. Sergeant First Class Ristowski. Sergeant First Class Stout. Staff Sergeant Waite. Staff Sergeant Washington. Congratulations, second platoon. The first award presented is the Iron Soldier Award. This award is presented to the student with the highest score on the ACFT. The recipient of the Iron Soldier Award is Staff Sergeant Patrick Perry of Oklahoma, who achieved a total score of 565 points. Congratulations, Staff Sergeant Perry. The next award is the Minuteman Award. The Minuteman Award is presented to a student for outstanding leadership and upholding the highest standards of personal and professional conduct. The significance of this award is that as voted on by peers, the recipient of the Minuteman Award for First Platoon is Staff Sergeant Jimmy Elliott of South Carolina. <laughs> Congratulations, Sergeant Elliott. The recipient of the Minuteman Award for Second Platoon is Sergeant First Class Damian Rostowski of Nevada. Congratulations, Sergeant Rostowski. The next award is the Distinguished Honor Graduate Award. The Distinguished Honor Graduate is awarded to the soldier with the highest grade point average in the class. The Distinguished Honor Graduate for SLC Class 23005 is Staff Sergeant Richard Jones of North Carolina. In addition, Staff Sergeant Jones is awarded the Benjamin Harris Harrison Medal for Excellence in Leadership, Academics, and Physical Fitness by the Executive Council of the Adjutant General's Corps Regimental Association. He is now presented with the award and the certificate. Congratulations, Sergeant Jones. At this time, the non-commissioned officer, Deputy, uh, uh, Academy Deputy Commandant, First Sergeant Justin Miller, will give recognition to our guest speaker, Sergeant Major Roberts. Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the benediction and the exit of the official party. The benediction will be given by Staff Sergeant Patrick Perry of Oklahoma. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we gather here today for this SLC graduation and thank you for your protection and guidance during this course. As we stand on the threshold of new responsibilities, we ask for your divine guidance. Grant us the fortitude to leave with unwavering integrity and to make decisions rooted in justice and fairness. Enable us to face challenges head on, the wisdom to lead with purpose and the compassion to uplift and inspire those we lead. May we be leaders that embody resilience in times of adversity. Bless us with strength and unity as we lead it, uh, in our states and instill in us a sense of purpose and unwavering commitment to serve our states and country. May your grace and protection guide us in all our future endeavors. Shape us into model leaders who make a positive impact on the lives we touch. In your name we pray, amen. Senior leaders, you are dismissed.